promise this is how I started on the body. I just decided to uh, start with the floor, I guess, and work up, you know, make sure your foundation's good. This is the way I cut it. Uh, I wish I'd cut it a little straighter, actually. It would have made welding easier, but um, this is how I did it. And I think I show tools here in a second. Yeah, my angle grinder with the cutoff wheel and this reciprocating saw from Harbor Freight. A little metal saw. It was good for getting in the corners and stuff. Um, making smooth, you know, cuts and not going into that area that I'm showing. So, uh, yeah, I just cut off everything that was soft and, and uh, had holes in it. Um, I made straight lines with a permanent marker and uh, went to town. So this is what it looks like after I got that panel done. My first weld on the car and that probably took me five hours to get this to sit in here. I used these little clips, borrowed them from a friend. I think I would use them again in future welds. I just used magnets to hold it in place and that worked better. So here we go on the first welding uh, job. Okay, so I was feeling like a stud, you know, got it welded in and everything. This was horrible. Not a good job welding. Um, and I explain that in this next clip. So um, I think I'll cut away here and then just let you listen to my explanation uh, once I did finally get this done. Hey, I'm back on the GTO and uh, this is five days later. <laughs> I, I have learned a lot about welding in the last five days. Um, the biggest thing is that when I welded this thing up, I wasn't getting enough penetration and I was lingering too long in one spot at the same time, so I was burning through. Um, and, well, not the first time. I was just welding on top of the metal. It really wasn't penetrating. Then I ground it down and I was too aggressive and I got really thin on the seams. So, uh, then when I went to weld the next time, I was burning through like crazy. And so this is as good as it gets. It, it, it's really not too much of a seam. There's a little bit there. Um, but I'm going to put a seam sealer over this. And then I'm going to be putting Dynamat and then carpet down anyway. But, I mean, it was a disaster. It's really, really stunk. Um, I had a, a, a friend of mine who loaned me this rotisserie come over. and He's an old welder. And... He showed me how to, how to find some solid and then build off that weld and build off that weld and build off that weld until you basically just fill it in. And then fortunately, because of the rotisserie, I was able to flip the car over and then fill in the backside. But I had to do that there. See that big glob? This whole thing is just new metal. And then of course, you know, you grind it down and you find a bunch of pinholes, then you gotta zap those. And then I was burning through again. So that looks all globby and stuff, but it's just because I had to stack it up on top of the old metal and it's solid there's no there's no light coming through now this side was really tough too um, and then yeah this corner just today I had to do that again so um, yeah so I know it's kind of globby looking but I'm gonna be smoothing that out anyway and the, the good thing is you know it's it's solid and it's there's no holes it's just solid metal then I got up to um, the previous owner's um, patches that he put in and he just tacked them in just lightly um, but by then I had my heat and my the speed of the wire down and um, <laughs> I did so much better it was just kind of amazing uh, I still left a little bit of a ridge um, I actually welded on both sides. I did this side and then I flipped it over and did, even though I was getting good penetration, I did the other side too. So it's really solid. I hardly had any little pinholes that I had to go back and fill at all. <sighs> but wow, um, I don't know what was more work, the welding or the grinding, but it has been something else. Uh, and then there's this, this is a big patch that he put in. It's nice thick metal though, the panel that he got. I don't know where he got it from, but the one I got from Ames, this one, it feels thinner to me, which didn't make things any better. 
So now I'm just about done besides with the floor. I've got to put a new trunk floor in, but I don't like this right here. So I'm going to cut this out and, um, and put in some new metal here too. And then that's about it. The rest of the floor is solid. So I don't know what you can learn from that. Here's some, uh, I guess lessons that I've learned. Don't grind too much. Be real careful about just grinding your weld down and not the metal around it. Don't get too thin. Um, make sure you have enough heat to penetrate. And um, I, was, I was almost like spot welding, and then I'd move and just pe pick up the edge of that puddle and do another little round hit and another little round hit instead of, you know, going like an E shape like some of the really good welders do. I was just hitting it and then hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, moving like that maybe in three quarters of an inch, half an inch at a time. Uh, and um, my other advice is get some the old metal that you cut out, the rusty stuff, and some new metal, clamp them together or whatever, and practice. Well, we've entered uncertain waters. Um, Okay, so sorry about the camera work. It turns out that the inner wheel well, um, I'm gonna have to cut out here uh, just cause it's a little soft and there's some rust spots. I'm gonna cut it out here and fabricate a new piece, but it actually um, goes under the outer wheel well right here. So I'm gonna, I think I can, cut it here and butt weld it. Anyway, then this overlaps this, which is the drop down, the trunk drop down. You see it comes like this and then it goes back there. And then the trunk drop down meets the bottom of the corner panel and the top of the trunk drop down meets the lip of the, of the, um, the trunk pan. So there's a lot going on in this little corner here. And I think I'm gonna get new ones of these cause they're 69 bucks. And instead of trying to fabricate the end of this. So I drilled out the spot welds here and blah, blah, blah. Then my buddy and I figured that it would be good to see what's underneath this. We have a plan for how we're gonna replace the trunk, but really I've got to see the drop down behind it. And uh, um, so, the bottom of this quarter is going to be replaced anyway, so I just took a deep breath and uh, <laughs> started cutting. Um, and uh, this is what we've got. Um, <laughs> scary. There were, there's no rhyme or reason to these spot welds down here. I think I'm probably going to uh, weld it with that epoxy glue stuff. Um, because then it's a watertight seal instead of just having these spots and then in between the water can get in there and do what it did, obviously. So um, I'm going to take this off the rest of the way and then I'll take a picture. For the record, uh, I'm jumping into the deep end of the pool now. Okay, hindsight is 2020. I just wanted to show you that thing that my thumb is on. Uh, yeah, just to the right of it right there. Nobody makes that, that thing right there. Nobody makes that. It's kind of a weird triangular, rounded off triangular piece. And I had to actually make that after I got all this stuff done. Maybe the coming videos I talk about that, but um, I'm just showing this so that you can see uh, how everything was kind of put together in case you have to do this. <clears throat> There's my drop down. It was, had some serious cancer. Although it's still amazingly hard to get everything um, detached and, and taken apart. So that's how, if you're wondering, how that structure, uh, or how that's, you know, put together. So, um, yep. And now that I'm doing this video, all of that stuff is brand spanking new and welded up and oh, I'm so glad. But, uh, anyway, um, I think I'll cut it here. So this video doesn't get too long, but, uh, you can see the trunk and the wheel wells was the next thing that I bit off. This is just a quick little shot so you can see I actually got something done. Um, this is the patch that I had to make and, and uh, weld in for the uh, 
the wheel well. And uh, so it's in. And then I have to start fabricating and welding all the other stuff in, but I started there. So it's been a long time since I've made a video. I guess I got really busy this summer, but thanks for watching. One more shot of the underside of the car on the rotisserie here um, before uh, I was done. And I think next time I'll start the videos on the trunk replacement because that was a major undertaking. Thanks for watching.